Hi, dear ones, and happy Tuesday to you. I hope you're all well, staying healthy, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And as we continue on our journey of self-awareness and self-love, self-respect, self-knowledge, it is important to understand how every aspect or every facet of our diamond actually works together so beautifully. And when we understand everything and we're able to put all of those facets together, we'll be able to see the diamond that is ourselves and be able to love it and love what it reflects back at us too. So now that we know what the chakra system is and why it is around and how it works in the body, we can begin to understand each of our body's chakras individually. So we learned yesterday that we develop the chakra, each chakra, for a period of seven years before moving on to the next one. And in this way, the chakras can be seen as the logical progression through life as we learn to deal with the outside world and its relationship with our inner world too. And what this means is that from the conception to the age of seven years old, we develop our base or our root chakra. So I'm going to just go through some of the statistics or the profile of our base or root chakra and give you some of the information on that first, and then we're gonna go from there. So the base or root chakra has an element and this element is earth. This is where we belong. It's what grounds us. The ruling planet is Saturn, for those of you who are interested in astrology. And its sense, as I mentioned yesterday, is smell. And smell is a very important sense for our survival. Its astrological sign is Capricorn, which is also an earth sign. And its music is drumming, beat. The food that is associated with this chakra and which can be added into your diet as a healing practice are root vegetables because, of course, it's the root or the base chakra. And these are your carrots, potatoes, parsnips, radishes, beets, onions, garlics, all, all of that. And I say garlics because there are various different types of garlic. Uh, protein rich foods as well. Um, eggs, meats, beans, tofu, soy products, peanut butter, and things like that. Um, for those of you who speak Afrikaans, funny enough, uh, peanut butter is grond boinkies, ground beans, or, or earth beans. And that comes back down to your, your earth and your base chakra as well. Spices, which are really, really good as well in enhancing the root chakra or the base chakra. Horseradish, hot stuff, red. Uh, hot paprika, chives, cayenne pepper, ginger, pepper. And then, of course, when we're looking at our essential oils that we would perhaps use in a bath or in a, in a burner um, in order to support our healing practices, ylang ylang, cedarwood, sandalwood, myrrh, patchouli, musk, and lavender. And then in the same way, bringing through that the red, and the dark root colors. Um, our healing crystals would be red tiger's eye, red jasper, garnet, ruby, obsidian, smoky quartz, hematite, onyx, and red agate. Its purpose in our system is as a foundation. It is the base chakra because it is the foundation on which all of the other chakras are built. And it is the foundation it also coincides with our formative years, doesn't it? Our formative years from the age of two until 10, there is an overlap there as well. So it's important to understand how our foundation is created in all facets of the diamond that is us. The life lesson for this chakra is standing up for oneself. And if you think about it, when we went to kindergarten and when we first entered school as well, that was exactly when we needed to be our own people, our own person, because we were no longer um, at home and under mom's wing anymore. Uh, we now had to learn how to stand up for ourselves. And if we were bullied during that time of our lives and we take that through, then our base chakra is going to have deficiencies or even excesses that may be seen further along the line in our health and will be manifest as dis-ease of the spirit um, 
color it's red and the location is at the base of the spine or the coccyx we spoke yesterday about the correlation with the endocrine gland and this is adrenals it comes back to survival and if we're even looking at maslow's hierarchy of needs and we look at the very bottom of that and that foundation survival is there and survival very often would rely on adrenaline um, for us to get away from the saber-toothed tiger its identity is physical this chakra is about the physical form because it is our foundation it is the first one that we understand from conception right up until the age of seven we're understanding our physical body we're exploring our body in all of its senses we're exploring walking we're learning to walk we we, we are learning what all of these things are as a baby uh, we often have to cut babies uh, fingernails because they grow long and they tend to scratch themselves quite easy and and and, and everything like that as well um, the orientation is self-preservation so it comes back to the survival it's a demon or counterforce is fear and this is where we need to understand that remember the opposite of love is fear so when we are in fear mode it comes back down to where we are in our base chakra and our root chakra and the basic right of this particular chakra is to be here and have we all have a right to be here and to have. There is no fear in that. We have that right. So now we're going to look at the balanced characteristics. And I think if we look at the balanced characteristics and if you're showing those balanced characteristics, then you have a relatively healthy chakra and it's relatively clear as well. Good health, vitality. You're well grounded, you're comfortable in your body, you don't have any body issues. You have a sense of trust in the world. You trust people. You trust that the world is not out to get you. You trust that you are, you can do and say things and that trust that the world is not out to get you is very, very important to understand about the, the, the root or the base chakra because then you will have a sense or a feeling of safety and security and you will be also able to relax and be still. You will often find that people who have issues within their base or root chakra will not be able to sit still. And they might sit and knock their legs or tap on the table or something similar to that. It's also about stability. So if you feel you have stability in your life, then your foundation is strong. Prosperity the right livelihood so you're doing exactly what you know you're supposed to do and you enjoy it and love it so that if you have all of those then your characteristics of your chakra shows of your base chakra shows that you have a balanced chakra so you're grand you're absolutely perfect but if you find that you have traumas and abuses that might have happened during that particular time. So I'm going to list some of these. Birth trauma, if uh, you were born with a lot of difficulties and there were, like in, in the olden days, they used to use forceps to perhaps take the baby out or all of those other icky things that I'm not going to discuss here because um, don't want those pictures sitting in our minds for the rest of the day abandonment physical neglect now sometimes you might find that those babies who are taken immediately from uh, from their mothers um, as soon as they are born and put into an incubator might actually suffer later on in life with abandonment issues the natural way that we were created until complications arose etc was that as soon as the baby came out of the mother's um, birth canal, it was put or laid straight directly onto the mother's body. Now, can you imagine what it must feel like for nine months um, living in this beautiful cocoon where the sounds are muted and you're safe? You've got this bubble of water around you and that bubble of water creates so much safety and security and stability 
all your needs, all your basic needs are taken care of. You've got enough nourishment, you are not thirsty or anything like that, and you don't have anything bothering you. You have every single thing that you need within that bubble. And then you are ripped from that bubble. And where do you go? So very often um, when babies are born nowadays, they are taken from the mother and they're even that particular sort of abandonment where the, um, the umbilical cord is cut and the babies are cleaned and everything, um, sometimes might create in a very sensitive soul a feeling of abandonment. So that's quite an important thing to look at as well. When you have poor physical bonding with the mother, malnourishment, feeding difficulties, major illness or surgery during that time of your life, physical abuse or a violent environment, um, and sometimes even inherited traumas, parents' survival fears. And that is where I'm going to leave it just for today. And I will recap over this tomorrow and we'll go into what the deficiencies and the excesses are so that we can understand perhaps where we might have issues that we need to deal with within our base chakra if we have an excess or a deficiency of energy and we now need to know how to balance that and how to heal those things so that the foundation that we create is a lot more stable and then can domino effect up to the other chakras. Ladies and gents, happy Tuesday. Remember please the four agreements, five Reiki principles. Love yourself unconditionally for you are the most beautiful diamond. <laughs>